alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of the show is to provide you with all the information and knowledge and skills that you need to be able to improve your health, um, both in the short term and in the long term, and to help inform you on how to make better choices about your food, your diet, your nutrition, and your overall lifestyle that will help to improve your health and your well-being. Um, during times when we're constantly bombarded with different information all about food, diet, and nutrition, sometimes we're left confused over um, what are the things that we can actually be doing to improve our health. So this show will give you that information um, that will help you to improve your health um, in the long run. Today's topic is all about processed foods. So what is defined as a processed food? A processed food is any type of food that has something removed from it or added to it. That is what's, what is considered to be a processed food. Now, there's a whole different range of how much a food is processed. There's foods that are very highly processed and there are foods that go through a level of processing, uh, but it's not to that extent. So what we're trying, what, what we should aim to do, especially when we break our fast or when we, when we um, have our pre-dawn meal is important um, for us to try and avoid some of these foods that are very highly processed because they will be they'll have a high level of uh, sugars and fats in them and because they're processed then they're not going to have that much of a beneficial impact on the body why is that is because those fats or those sugars will go through high levels of heat and high levels of chemicals that will change the structure of the nutrient and that's why they're not going to be very beneficial to us. So try and limit those foods as much as you can uh, when it comes to your meals. Things like um, pre-packaged food or convenience meals, again, they'll most likely be processed, but different um, examples will be you know, to different ex extents. So if you are having those meals um, that are you know, pre-packaged, try and um, balance them out with having other um, fresh food in there as well try and uh, have a look at what the actual uh, meal consists of and how you can balance it out. Um, and what, what happens, for example, um, if you eat out? Um, so if you're uh, planning to break your fast out at a restaurant or um, somewhere um, not where you can prepare your own food from scratch, and there are certain things that you can do that will um, help you not to have those negative impacts of uh, processed foods. So it could be things like asking to limit the amount of salt added to the food or the amount of sugar that's added to your food. Try and choose foods that are as, um, um, that are as close to their natural um, original state as possible. Things like limiting the amount of um, fat that's been added to the food. You can always um, ask the food to be served in that way and that will help you um, in terms of limiting um, your uh, negative um, impact on processed food. But remember with processed food, it's not, it's not just about um, having it once, it's when it's constantly um, as part of our regular routine on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, that over a longer period of time, that could have a negative consequence on our health, but every now and again, um, shouldn't have that um, negative impact. So remember when it comes to processed foods, try to avoid them as much as possible. That's it for today's uh, topic and today's uh, session. I hope you found that uh, useful and beneficial. Thank you for joining us and ma'asalama.